Our project was called, Do Nursing Students Really Know Pain Management? Our group members were Aaron Kaiser, Kristen Bruggeman, Hong Jun Jo, Chandler Bloom, Madeline Oakley, and Ashley Crush. So why do nursing students need to know about opioids? Opioids are considered a high-risk medication because of the risk for addiction and dangerous side effects. 53.8% of patients who chronically take opioids start taking them for chronic pain. Patients are often first prescribed opioids by their primary care physicians. Evidence shows that education on opioids and other pain management options have long-term benefits in reducing opioid use and dependence while also keeping pain under control. The purpose of our project was to address the use of chronic opioid use with pain management and see how we as nurses can play a role in preventing opioid abuse as well as offering other non-opioid alternatives. With this, we also looked at how improving nursing education on this topic could increase the communication nurses could have between their patients. The research question we intended to answer was, do nursing students who are provided education on opioid abuse risks and non-opioid pain management options show increased knowledge and perceived competence about pain management and safe opioid use. For our method of research, we utilized undergraduate nursing students as our subject group. 27 students were presented with a 15-minute educational PowerPoint that addressed opioids and pain management. Prior to the presentation, students took a knowledge and competency survey to gather data on what they already knew. Following this, they were presented the information on safe opioid use for pain management, symptoms of opioid overdose, risk factors for dependence, and non-opioid and alternative pain management strategies. A short two-minute video was included in the presentation. To conclude the presentation, students took a second knowledge and competency survey. The biggest obstacles that we faced were getting the students to do both the pre- and post-tests and the limited available number of students that could be included in our research. To collect our data, we had the group of students we presented to take a 10-question knowledge and competency survey before and after the information was given to them. The baseline knowledge of opioids from the students in comparison to their knowledge after receiving our intervention resulted in an average increase in the result outcomes. Based off this graph and the data we collected, we were able to calculate p-values, which tells us the probability that our null hypothesis was true. Using this, we could see significant result improvement between the two survey takes. Due to this improvement, we can conclude that our educational presentation was impactful in increasing the student's knowledge about opioids and alternative pain management techniques, as well as their competency level to relay this information in practice. With this knowledge gained, the students can apply this information in practice and contribute to the long-term goals and benefits of decreasing opioid use and dependence. These next two slides are our references.